Hi everyone, today we're gonna talk about plaster wrap. So this is a way that you can create three-dimensional objects pretty quickly that are pretty sturdy and then they're paintable after. So this is more sculptural, but if there's sculptural elements in your books you wanna make, this is a good option for you. Okay, so I'm gonna start with, let's say I wanna make a heart, right? So I'm just using tin foil as a base of my structure. So I'm starting with just a basic looking heart. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because you are gonna be going over it with the plaster wrap, which is kind of similar to the paper mache that we've used in the past. It's just a little more sturdy and a little thicker. Okay, so I've got kind of a heart. It'll get a little better. But before I start with water, because this wrap, it's like a fabric that has plaster in it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some scissors and I'm gonna cut some strips. It's good to cut whatever you need ahead of time, similar to the paper mache, because you don't really wanna get everything wet and goopy as you go. All right, so I think I have all I need. So I've got my strips, I've got my paper. Um, I'm putting newspaper down so there's less of a cleanup. And then I've got my bucket of water. So what I'm gonna start with is taking one of my strips, can put it in the water, and then you want to activate all of the plaster. So what I'm doing is I'm just running my fingers over it, make sure you have enough water in it. And basically I should see all of those little lines starting to disappear. That means that it's activated enough and the plaster is wet. So I'm gonna take and just put it over the top of what I have. So the first step is really just to cover the whole element. Then I can start to um, get it a little bit more heart-like. Okay, same thing, really taking, smoothing it, covering it up. Now plaster is something that it's not uh, good to get on your clothes, so if you want to use a um, smock, you can do that. Okay. If you like clay, plaster is kind of similar in that it kind of becomes, once you've activated the strip with that rubbing, it kind of becomes like a clay on the surface. All right, so at this point, I have the whole thing covered, just kind of wrapping in those ends. So now I can start to smooth it because this will become very hard after the fact. So you don't wanna have any craftsmanship errors. You really wanna make sure it's as clean as you'd like. Let's say I want this heart to be more bumpy at the top, right? I can take one more strip, maybe it's even a smaller strip, and I can actually fold it a few times so that I can make the bump a little more pronounced. And it's all about just smoothing it in. So this is the basics. Remember, this is paintable after the fact. Um, but you can continue to work on things from day to day. If you get water on the strips, then you wanna throw those out because then it's gonna dry and then it won't be able to be activated again. But this is your basics with plaster wrap. 